Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Haley. Welcome to my new space. If you watch my recent video, my latest video, you know that I moved and this is my new room. I'm trying to find filming spaces, so we're gonna we're gonna test this one out and see how I like it. I'm really excited about today's video. I know most of the world is going into fall and autumn and even though I'm in Australia and we've just entered spring, I thought I would share with you guys my wardrobe essentials for fall, autumn, winter, early winter just because I feel like I've just gone through it and I know what I was wearing so much in the fall and winter time and what pieces were really essential in my wardrobe, the ones that I grabbed the most and they're kind of like I do feel like on trend but timeless pieces that no matter what is trending these pieces will be like really good essentials in your closet that's kind of the mindset I go into with every season is I have a few pieces that might be like more on trend but most of my pieces are staples capsule wardrobe vibes they can just be continuously worn throughout the years and I just switch them out every season so yeah I'm really excited to share with you guys the, this list of my fall wardrobe essentials I love clothes <laughs> I love fashion and I love sharing these with you guys because I think it's just really fun to see what everyone has as like staples and if you're kind of looking for some staples to include into your fall slash winter wardrobe definitely keep on watching because I think if you feel like you're missing some things this will hopefully help you build that capsule wardrobe like I said I don't follow like a complete capsule wardrobe I definitely participate in some trends for me it's about making um, it easy when picking outfits it's making me feel comfortable and cute whenever I'm wearing an outfit so those are my like essential my goals so these are my wardrobe essentials so I thought I'd do shoes first I usually start with clothes but I thought I'd talk about shoes because I don't know <laughs> why I'm so obsessed with shoes lately I go in phases where I just wear the same shoes every day and then all of a sudden I'm just really obsessed with shoes I was usually a clothes girl but shoes are really tickling my fancy at the moment I'm very very interested in growing my shoe shoe collection I feel like they really play a big part and a big role in making an outfit so my essential shoes for fall and shoes that I really want to be included in my fall slash winter wardrobe is one a dark pair of Birkenstock Boston's so I know Birkenstock Boston's are probably like one of the most trendy items on this list but I think the taupe version that's super trendy for summer and spring and that vibe I think a dark version which is the one I have in like a brown leather is so perfect for fall it's perfect for those cooler days you can wear like scrunched up long socks with them and they're just such a cute vibe it's an easy slip on it's better than sneakers it's comfier than boots it's just like this nice in between casual cute and I think just a dark like oiled leather look is super cute and I'm obsessed with them and I think I, I wore them so much this winter when it wasn't raining just on those cooler days with my thick socks so I love my Birkenstock Boston's a second pair of shoes that I have been really obsessed with and I would say I definitely wear them way more in the fall and winter are my black square toed boots from Aloha's I purchased these at the beginning of winter and I love them they'll go with me through through many many seasons many many years I'm sure they're just the perfect black boot and if you don't have them I feel like they're pretty like they're pretty much essential nights out just casual dinners even to work they're just such great boots and I think if you get a pretty simple version of a black boot they can't really like go out of style I think they're pretty timeless so that's why I am obsessed with mine and I know I'll have them for a very long time I do think that mine are more on the trendy side with the square toe but I honestly don't mind I think I they're my favorite style of boot though they look so cute and even though they're more on trend now, I think they will stay like 
stylish and cute for a long time so I don't perceive me changing or wanting to swap them out in the future I love them okay the next shoe that I think is a fall slash winter slash summer slash spring staple which I actually haven't purchased yet but yet but it is on my wish list it will be in my cart very very soon is a pair of black loafers I think these are the again a perfect dress up shoe I just think you can't go wrong all year round I think these shoes are really good but especially in fall autumn again like I said they're probably more on the trendy side but I love loafers I think they're super versatile you can dress them up dress them down and I think they've been around enough lately that I think they will stay for a while I don't think they're a very fast fashion trend like I don't think they're just gonna go out in the next season I think you could definitely count on them being around for another uh, another little while so I think they're worth the investment and I definitely will be investing in them and I just think they're the perfect fall shoe perfect fall shoe <laughs> Okay, so an essential that I've really invested in this year, this winter, is long sleeve um, shirts. I felt like I didn't have any just basic, natural, neutral, like, long sleeve shirts. I felt like all I had was, like, thick jumpers or really, like, summery top. So I invested in some long sleeve shirts. I'm wearing one now. This is just, like, a scoop neck. I have a square neck one. I love them. This one is just from Cotton On, and I have them in a bunch of natural, such like neutral colors and they are so perfect I layer them under things I wear them on their own they just look really cute with like a scarf and a little jacket and yeah I think having like a selection of just neutral long sleeves good material it's so worth the investment I know Jerf Avenue has released a line and I have to admit like I just genuinely think they're totally worth it if I hadn't already purchased a bunch of mine I would have purchased them from there because you wear them all the time whether that's underneath things or on their own they're just the perfect um, essential top that you need and I think a lot of us forget about those little things we have like the cute knits or we have the cute tops but we don't have just those basic items that really help build your wardrobe and make your wardrobe feel like complete so if you haven't already definitely invest in some square neck scoop neck just regular <laughs> neck um, long sleeve tops I would get like good material but not super super thick so that you can layer them um and yeah they've seriously changed the game for me I just feel like I know what I'm gonna put on in the morning and I know that I can layer them or put a jacket over and I'll be warm so definitely get some long sleeve shirts now for pants I would say my essentials are a pair of dark wash dark wash thick jeans thick denim I just love dark wash for fall winter um, and thick material like make sure they're thick they're not those like I would just invest in a really good quality pair I have a pair from Levi's they're like tall straight dark wash denim I wore them all winter long I love them they just feel really sturdy really thick and the dark wash is just so wintry and I love them so I definitely recommend investing in a pair of dark wash denim um, I also recommend investing in a pair of like dark trousers I have a gray gray pair and a black pair and I love them I feel like for summer I wear like my oat pair or white light linen oatmeal colored um, trousers more but for winter fall grays blacks are really really nice um, and if you want some color add some lightness I think on the top experiment with color and um, some fun you know light brightness but I think for fall and winter having a pair of dark trousers slash slacks are really practical because of snow rain just all the above so definitely recommend having those since I've included those I really love to swap out the jeans for the trousers they're comfy and I can layer le leggings or tights underneath to give them a little bit more warmth and they're just so comfy I love them they dress up a little bit more and yeah I'm obsessed with my trousers now for those warmer like full fall autumn days I love my linen maxi skirts again I would go with like a darker print um, like maroon or like forest evergreen like those kind of skirts 
I love um, even a chocolatey brown skirt. Just darker color skirts, maxis. Again, you can layer like tights underneath them and you could do like a really cute chunky knit over top. Um, so yeah, those are my pants, like pants slash lower half of the body must have essentials in my winter wardrobe, my fall slash winter wardrobe. For layering slash like jackets, etc. I love having like an oversized gray crew neck. Love it. I love layering that with skirts. I love layering it, layering it with trousers. I love layering it with jeans. Like I just love an oversized gray crew neck. I think it's just a wardrobe essential and if you don't have one, highly recommend the investment. I'm going to purchase another one soon because a couple of mine are like ratty because I've literally worn them to death. If you know like the Jerf Avenue Marl staple sweatshirt, that's like the one I'm talking about. Something very similar to that. It's got like this oversized look but it's like fitted and you can wear it with skirts and all the different things. So definitely a like sweatshirt shirt crew neck in in neutral colors so you can wear some fun pants or skirts with it I also love to have knit cardigans so yes like knit jumpers are great for like winter and stuff but for the in-between seasons I love having chunky knit cardigans I have a couple and I wear them all the time even now in the spring they're just perfect to like throw over a t-shirt or a long sleeve add that extra warmth and like the chunky knit is just so cozy for fall so if you don't have a chunky knit cardigan definitely invest in one of those I think it's a wardrobe essential and you'll just find that you wear it all the time like I always wear my cardigans because instead of like a jumper cardigans just go over like whatever you're already wearing just it just adds to it, it makes it feel like more cozy for coats the two coats that I invested in for fall and winter this year that I've literally worn to death is a big like rain jacket it's almost a trench because it's really long and I got it from Uniqlo it's like this big wide not like as in it doesn't have a waist like a waist tie I guess so it's not a trench it's just like has that vibe it's just more oversized and it has a hood absolutely obsessed with it I wear it all the time it's thin but it's waterproof and it can go over all your like cozy winter gear and it's just like I love the oversized look so comfortable and in neutrals it's like just feels a bit lighter too the other thing I invested in is a gray wool trench coat again wore this so much this one is super long and I wore it I wore it out I wore it to work I just wore it a bunch and it's super cozy it's better than a puffer jacket it's warmer than any of that and I didn't have to layer hips underneath it so it was perfect for like if I was just gonna wear like one layer to go out for dinner and I could just take the jacket off so definitely a wool trench coat and just an oversized neutral like rain coat trench vibe <laughs> Now for accessories, I think scarves, whether that's a thick, long, chunky scarf or a thin, long scarf, perfect for fall. They just make such a difference to your outfit. They really add that like next touch. If you're just wearing a long sleeve and jeans, having that chunky scarf or that long scarf just adds that next level. It's cozy. I just love the look of it. I think scarves are such a statement piece and such a great accessory. And because you're wearing like usually in fall and winter more like oversized slash baggy slash just like so many layers that I think little shoulder bags are the perfect accessory. Um, I think instead of having like the tote bag from summer and spring, I would transition that into like a shoulder bag. Like I said, because you're wearing such like big items, you're very bundled up. Um, a shoulder bag just adds that cute little touch and yeah. I love it. <laughs> I think that's all that's on my list right now. If I missed anything, <laughs> I will let you know. I'll update it in the comments. Let me know what's on your fall slash winter essentials um, because I would love to know. Let's create this list together. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please follow me on Instagram, Habits of Haley, TikTok, Habits of Haley, and here, subscribe and like if you did enjoy. I will see you in my next video very, very soon and have a lovely day. Bye guys.